Hello, everyone, and welcome to Screw It, Just Do It. We're talking about just start. My name is Pam Wright. I'm a stress specialist, happiness facilitator. I have help people to stress less, smile more, and to get their happy back. And tonight in Screw It, Just Do It, we are looking at getting rid of all the blocks, the fears, the resistance, stopping us from moving on and getting things done. So let's get started. The older you get, the more you realize no one has a clue what they are doing. Everyone's just winging it. And the magic of winging it. At some level, it's comfortable to think that others have got it all worked out at some level. That successful people have a foolproof plan ready to whip out if anything goes wrong. The thing is that no one knows what they are doing. No matter how much they're giving out the illusion of cool and calm, at some level, they are making it up. They're going along just like the rest of us, making it up on the way. Steve Jobs had never created an iPhone until Al Apple developed the iPhone. Dame Quinson Bryce had never been Governor General before she was elected as Governor General. First time mums have never been mums before. They're just winging it, having it a go, making it up. The realisation that everyone is winging it can be a shock at first. But once you wrap your head around the concept, it can be deeply reassuring and freeing. Many of us are thinking we're not good enough, not smart enough. We hide behind excuses like it's not the right time. Waiting for our circumstances to change. We're waiting for someone to tap us on the shoulder with some huge opportunity. We falter because we're afraid. I want to tell you, the fear is all made up. It's made up in our heads. I know there is a path for you to take. And it's ultimately starts with you. No one else can take the first step but you. The most important thing we can do is work on our mindset and our self-talk. And that's exactly what we do in this call. It's so easy to compare and despair, constantly looking outside of ourselves for validation. And we have to stop thinking like this and look inwardly. I want to show you that anything's possible with no qualifications whatsoever. I want you to back yourself, stand out, try something scary, make a difference, fail lots and just get up again. Because it is what I want for myself. And it's worked for me. 
Too often we hide behind the excuses. I'll do it when I have the money. I'll do it when, when I have more time. I'll do it when the children start childcare or they start school or they go off to university. We obsess about the outcomes. We rely on external advice. I want you to think about the game you're playing. Maybe it deserves a bigger court. Open to what's possible. Take a giant leap of faith. Get comfortable with temporary discomfort. I'll share how I started a job as an educational liaison officer with not a clue what I was doing. I didn't know what I was doing. But neither do you. And we're all making it up as we go along. When we give up the need to control everything, plan for every considerable outcome, we create a space for the unknown. When we don't have that highly thought out expectations of what's going to happen, we make room for surprises. We allow ourselves the journey into the unchanted territory, which can be more fun and have more growth. It's not the absence of a plan. It's about not being so set in the plan that it can't lead off in another direction. Absolutely have a plan, but it's about the flexibility, pivoting and weaving when necessary, saying yes and working it out later. It, mo it means trying something before you're ready. It means less second guessing, going with your gut, not always future proofing yourself and your life. More time going with the flow, celebrating your successes, getting comfortable with the uncomfortable, believing in yourself. enough to give it a go. And having that childlike sense of wonder constantly wondering if you're doing it right. We let that go. We learn to stress less, smile more. Get back into the experimenting and failing, opening up to possibilities. What I lack in experience, I made up for in determination and jumping in with grit. Saying yes and figuring the rest out later. You can make decisions with only 70% of the information. So in tonight's call, we are going to pick one specific area that you're looking to move forward in and use the call to clear all the resistance, the blocks, the fears, everything you say, tell yourself about it. Any old memories that pop up, we're clearing them out of the road so you can fully step into the flow. Screw it. Just do it.